M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are with HDSDR connected to my Zygu X6100. Now if you look at the screen, look at the frequencies here. As I change the frequency, the HDR is moving with it, as you can see. And how, how are we able to do that? Well, that's because of a program called OmniRig. Now there's OmniRig 1, which I couldn't get working. This is OmniRig 2, as you can see here. So it's straightforward. You just go to the download section. I'll find it in a sec. Download it, and you will end up with really three windows. And the first one that you open is this small one here at the top with a brown circle here. So that's OmniRig V2. Click that, and you end up with this window. Now, configuration for the X6100 is a uh, thanks to Ham Radio Dude is an IC718 and we've got COM13 and board rate 19200 so if we right click here and go device manager when you plug in your X6100 it will come up with the ports that are named like this USB and at the end CH342 and I've used the lower one which is 13 now I did right click it properties and I changed that to 19200 everything else I left alone so that's the port so we've got the port in there so on um, once we've got that we've entered all that in here now what you do you click on HD SDR click options go to cat and see this cat to radio omnirig and here look, it says online um, and port not available so I did have to reboot everything a couple of times you know the X6100 I had to, I had to reboot it I had to reboot HD SDR before eventually we got it online when you first click online options here when you first click it it does oh it said it's typical that it would now say rig active because I've changed the settings but when I first booted it up um, it did load all the radio files it's saying it inactive let's just see yeah somehow it's disconnected me but it was working so which is typical for the video so give it a go I've shown you my settings uh, you end up with these three little windows like this You've got, and you can control four different rigs according to this I'll just do the uh, settings again I'll click what I'll do I'll click rig one and see if it does anything. No. But there's enough information there. It was working perfectly just now. Omni rig two. And like I said, I have to reboot it a couple of times before it actually started working. But thanks for watching. I'll put all the links in the description for Omni Rig. And you've got a section here that you can download the actual different radios here as well and you know you can update new radios that are coming out so that's it OmniRig version 2 HD SDR to control the frequencies and the Zygu X6 100 73 all the best Yeah, I just finished up by saying, um, yeah, it did start working. If you can see, I'm moving the frequencies. But I forgot to mention the sound card. So what you do on your IQ out, when you plug that in, it will show up here as either line in or you can use microphone. So you've got the IQ out lead. You need a, is it a TPR lead. Um, look it up. And it will show up here as either line in or microphone and just select it. And then you'll be able to hear the audio as well. So, but yeah, just to show you again, look, the frequency is now changing thanks to OmniRig. 7-3, all the best. Thanks for watching.